Hey folks, it's JP here. It's uh, been a little while since I did a bee removal and, and put it on YouTube, but um, I did. I'm, I'm in Shell Beach today, and uh, I was called out by Captain Frank Moore, fishing with the king. Okay, that's his name. He fishes out of. He's a fishing guide. Been fishing guide out of Shell Beach, Louisiana, for several years, many many years. And uh, I never met him, but I met him today. And uh, anyway, he called me on Saturday, said he had a beehive in his in his camp. But he's got two, and they just swarmed in, looks like, okay? Let me show you what we got. Okay. Let's see if we pick it up here. So they love to get in between those floor joists, and uh, they get right up through that plastic. And usually there's insulation in there, and, and you got to push it out of the way to get to the bees. And then look, on this corner right here. Oh, that sun's bright. This is the second one that showed up right here, okay? So anyway, it's about 3.15. I got my hands full. I'm racing against the clock a little bit, but uh, I'm going to get it done. I got the bee back. I can use the bee back on something like this because there's not going to be much comb or honey. And um, I was actually down here about a week ago, folks, and uh, I removed two colonies for BP, <laughs> and they went to the work trailer. And they, they told me there was one that, that day as well. That day, my, I didn't have my card and my camera, and um, so I couldn't film that for you guys. Hey, folks, this is what we got. Okay? You can see... Uh, about three little comb sections, so these bees hadn't been there. There's a whole bunch of drones, too. We've got bees swarming down in southeast Louisiana on October 5th. Okay, so I'm just going to take the bee vac and uh, hopefully I can get that thing up here and vacuum them. That's what we'll do. I'm uh, let's show you where I am. Yeah, I guess I'm about 17, 18 feet up, something like that. See my trailer down there? All right. So, we'll get into it, and we got that other one on that other corner. Give you a better idea what this thing looks like. Okay, it's a pretty big swamp, folks. It's about, uh, oh, man, this is, this is a good three pounds of bees, it looks like. Two and a half, two and three quarter, at least. Vacuumed a good bit already, as you can see. Come out, folks. Unless I vacuum, I've been looking for it. I saw it once already. There's our queen. All right. All right, folks. We're about to get into hive number two. Obviously, this is the larger of the two folks, and these have been here a lot longer, okay? But still, probably just, you know, a couple of weeks, if that. I don't know what these bees are getting out here. This is, you know, all marshland. They're getting something. I mean, goldenrod just started blooming, really. I, I don't really know what they're getting, folks. Uh, but anyway, that's what we got. We're about to get into these. All right, I just want to show y'all. I think this queen here just didn't get mated properly, folks. You can see it's nothing but drones, okay? Everything I pulled out so far. I pulled out a couple of comb sections already and it was all drone. That's what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna, I guess, combine these colonies, keep an eye on them and maybe combine them with a, <clears throat> even another colony if uh, this the queen from that other colony isn't producing. But anyway, it's late in the year. We're gonna do what we can to and make them survive, folks. Yep. Uh, 
All right, we got some background music, I see. <clears throat> okay, folks, so this removal is done. Recap, two colonies, uh, one much larger number-wise than the other, but neither one of them have been here very long. Um, I think this one on the corner, the one I just finished, the larger of the two, I think these were queenless on this corner. So, every cell that I saw was drone brood. So, hey, she probably flew off to try to get made and maybe she was eaten by a bird or something. Who knows? That's it for now. Down in uh, Shell Beach, Louisiana. And uh, another video brought to you by JP the B Man. And y'all have a good day.